Shout out to the gang for 30K subbies. Y'all know I had to come back with another video featuring Eula Hair. Let's get into it. Okay, y'all, so Eula Hair sent me this hair and this is the packaging that it comes with. And it also comes with this instruction um like pamphlet and it tells you how to take care of it what products to use and all of that so i thought that was pretty useful the links that i used were 20 22 and 24 and i'm going to be showing y'all how to do this no leave out half sewing half feeding because i don't see a lot of the videos with the no leave out method so i'm starting off with her hair parted down the um, center ear by ear and I'm just gonna be doing the beehive method for her braid down for the sewing. If you're used to the old school beehive method, that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, I just decided to demonstrate how I do this part and then it's basically just going around in a circle. That's all I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so now I'm done with the beehive and now I'm just gonna be sewing down that tail because you just don't want anything sticking out. So I'm gonna sew the tail down and then I like to use a net. So I'm also gonna sew the net down once I'm finished sewing down the tail. Another good tip, y'all, also make sure that you oil your client's scalp because with this style, it is a protective style and you want the scalp to be hydrated. Oil that scalp so it's not dry and it's not itchy up under the weave. So since it is three bundles, what I decided to do was double my webs. So basically I just folded the track in half and I'm just gonna be using it doubled. And I like to put the needle through the web first so that way it's super secure by the time that I put it in her hair. Um, this just helps to keep the um, thread from slipping out and it just literally holds the thread in place. I like to use the underhand method when I'm sewing. So I'll do the underhand method and then I'll wrap around three times to make sure that my knot is secure. And that's just how I'm gonna be doing it. I'm also gonna be doing the flip over method the whole time. And I'm gonna give y'all specific details to how um, to do the front, well, how to do the top part because this is a no leave out method. So you want it to look as natural as possible without having to leave out hair because sometimes when clients are natural, that's a bit of a hassle leaving out the leave out. They try to blend it with the weave. So we're just gonna, do this type of method and I'm gonna talk y'all through it as I go. Another thing, the quality of this hair was pretty good. It was like minimum shedding. I know with like the deep curly hair, sometimes it does experience like minimal shedding, which is normal. Um, it didn't really tangle much. So this hair was pretty good to me. When doing the flip over method, I like to bring the needle through the weft at the ends just to make sure that my um, weft is secure right there because you want to make sure that the braid isn't going to be exposed and that the hair is sewn flat down. So what I like to do is form like a U with the tracks. That way it makes it easier to cover the wefts and it doesn't show any webs like when it's being flipped and all of that stuff by forming the u also is helping me to be able to close off the tracks and it just lays it way better versus just sewing it straight across so that's the method that i like to use
so now i'm going to get ready to close it off i'm starting in the middle so it could be a little bit fuller up here at the top but then i'm going to continue to go into the u um, form and that's really how i finish it off i know i haven't seen a lot of videos showing how you finish the back so i tried my best to record while i was doing the entire part of the sewing so that y'all could see exactly like what it is that you do to get that no leave out method for this style y'all please forgive me my phone died while i was doing the feed-ins and didn't even realize it but what i do for the feed-in part i like to use the product called lock-in and i just saturate the whole um section and i also put it in the middle this makes it easier for stitching and it helps the hair to lay down better and then of course i'm using my sway band which is going to be available in the description box on my website because i still have plenty of sway bands they come in pink purple blue yellow green red and black so i also found these little pinky rings um you can put them on your ring finger or your pinky these really help with stitching if you're not good with stitching with like a comb or you don't have the extra pinky nail that's sharp you can use these i got them off of amazon it was like a whole 10 pack for six dollars which was really good so i use these to help me stitch and as you can see i just use these every time i'm about to do a stitch and it made the stitches so clean
So now I'm just gonna set the braids with my foam and I used the Vigorol foam and then I'm gonna spray down the tracks and I'm gonna also put some foam on that. This hair was really pretty. It was easy to manage and my best friend loves it. She still has the style in right now. Um, this was the style that she was doing for a wedding so it turned out perfect. And thank you so much for tuning in if you stayed this far. Y'all, I'm not a baby hair master, so I'm not really going to show y'all how I did the baby hairs because I still be experimenting to this day with baby hairs. But I'm going to show y'all the final product. And I did dip these off camera. And then what I just did was just clip the ends of the braids so that they'll be even with the sewing. And yeah, this style turned out so good. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And join the Slay Gang. Thank you. Thanks,